What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this Sunday evening. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, last year, it was about a year ago, I did a video on this uh, sick, depraved piece of shit that you see before you. And uh, when I first started hearing about this story again, I thought it was just a resurface of the same story. And uh, shout out to the sister of uh, Anna Yah for uh, pretty much sending me this story because I realized basically what it is as a follow up, you know, and I thought I'd go ahead and just go, you know, and cover it. Uh, says their Louisiana teacher admits giving kids cupcakes laced with husband's sperm. OK, um, what it is, is that this sick piece of shit that did this? Well, she is being sentenced. To 41 years you know uh for doing this sick and depraved thing along with some other things that she was involved in along with her husband that's basically what it boils down to as far as i'm concerned uh 41 years is still not enough you know uh time for what this sick awful piece of shit both her her and her husband did to these uh unsuspecting victims these children you know um that ate these sperm laced cupcakes okay uh i think parents need to teach their children don't eat anything you know in school far as from strangers you understand what i'm saying it's getting down to the point to where you probably can't even trust the school lunches okay you know bring your own food you know at these uh when they, when these teachers bring shit in you understand what i'm saying don't eat it don't eat it because you don't know what kind of sick and depraved ass piece of shit that these teachers could be these days, okay? Now to get into the story, a twisted Louisiana teacher has pleaded guilty to giving her students cupcakes laced with her husband's sperm, okay? Now I don't know what could have made her or her husband think of something so sick and diabolical to do to children. I mean, just because he's squirting down her throat doesn't mean that children wants to taste his nasty essence, if you understand what I'm saying just filthy far as i'm concerned I, I i honestly do believe that both of them should be put to death for even doing some shit like this to be honest with you okay now <laughs> um we've already read this part right here but we're gonna start with cynthia perkins 36 admitted to a slew of disgusting sex crimes including child pornography pornography second degree rape and mingling of harmful substance when she took a plea deal in Livingston on Monday. The teacher and her now ex-husband, Dennis Perkins, were arrested in 2019 on more than 150 sex crime related charges, including sexually abusing a child together. Okay, listen to this. Yeah, they should be put to death. They really should, you know. Uh, goes on to say, Cynthia was also hit with the harmful sus substance uh, charge after she put Dennis sperm into cupcakes that she gave to students at Livingston Westside Junior High School, authorities said, under the plea deal agreement, well, under the plea, plea, <laughs> plea deal, I'm used to putting an agreement with it, Cynthia had 68 other charges against her dismissed and will have to testify against Dennis at his upcoming uh, trial. She not only waived any right to appeal and attempt to avoid conviction, but she also spared the victims from reliving her hor horrific uh, crimes during this particular trial. Louisiana Attorney General Jeff Landry said in a statement, okay? She doesn't, I don't understand why she gets the chance to waive anything. See, this is what I'm saying with the slap on the wrist whenever these sick bastards in society get out here and do shit like this you know but they still got it coming they they got it coming they ain't got away with nothing that's just like that uh, katie whatever her name is the teacher uh, not the teacher but the police officer who said taser 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 and then shot you know got her gun and shot the guy only got two years the bitch is still on death row she ain't got away with nothing you ain't got away with nothing. You might serve you, with good behavior. She'll be out before that, but that's okay. She got it coming, you know, but I digress. Um, this is her and her piece of shit ass husband, this teacher right here. You know, Cynthia and Dennis Perkins were busted after authorities received a tip 
at the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Now, you know, yeah, they're doing shit like this against children. And he's an ex-police officer, by the way, okay? But they're doing shit like this against children, man. This right here is why society needs to really come down on these, these uh, I'm not going to even call you people, you are subhuman, okay? You are subhuman. These are things that subhumans doing. And I think there should be stiffer penalties like being put to death, capital punishment for people that will set out to do sick and disgusting things like this to people, you know, to children and to anybody else. And this also goes for adults that go to work. You better think about when um, you uh, go to work and y'all have potluck and who's bringing in what all. Don't participate in it because you just don't know what these motherfuckers be doing. You don't know, just like with these low lights right here. You don't know what they could be doing. Okay. Uh, in conclusion here, it says Cynthia will be sentenced to 41 years in prison on Friday. Authority said she filed for di divorce from her husband in the wake of their arrest and alleged that Dennis had manipulated her into committing the crimes. Ain't that much manipulating the world. If it wasn't for you, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just no excuse. You was in on it. You know what I'm talking about? And both of you motherfuckers should be put down for doing you sick dogs. As far as I'm concerned. See, it's always an excuse. See? But to continue, the couple were busted after authorities received a tip. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Uh, investigators later found nude photos of them with minors. Okay? Uh, Cynthia resigned from Westside Junior High School the day after her arrest, while Dennis was fired from his deputy role at the Livingston Parish or Parish Sheriff's Office. Uh, Dennis is scheduled to face a uh, trial on May on 150 criminal charges. Okay. Now I can guarantee you, Dennis gonna get more time than this trick right here. You know, because he's the man, and that's the way society is. But as far as I'm concerned, there should be no difference between. The punishment that both of them get you know they were both in on this sick ass shit that they did to a child you understand or children and they should both get the same you know sentence as far as i'm concerned that's just what it is y'all tell me what y'all think about these two low life subhuman dogs right here uh and what they did i remember i'm interested in hearing your thoughts views and opinions on it like comment share and subscribe People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.